Hi everyone! We've made some whole body references in previous videos to use for weight painting and size conversions, but we have not yet talked about how you can make a whole body reference that includes body slide body sliders. And so that's what I'm going to cover in this video. Before we get started, remember from video number 9 that Skyrim bodies come in four parts. The body, the head, the hands, and the feet. This is fine until you need to work with things that cover more than one body part. And that can be a little tricky, especially if you need to weight paint or apply body slide sliders from different body part meshes. So today, we're going to make a whole body mesh from the CBBE reference shapes. This reference can be used for weight painting, making sliders to other CBBE whole body shapes, and for conforming outfits to the body slide reference sliders to create a body slide project. And while I'm going to show you how to do this with the CBBE body as an example, you can use the same approach for any body slide compatible body type. Let's get started. Go to File, Load Reference, and choose the CBBE body. Right click on the body and unset it as the reference so that it's not colored in green text anymore. Then go to Load Reference again and choose the CBBE hands. Make sure the tick box down here at the bottom for Merge Sliders is ticked on and then hit OK. The hands should come in along with the body and all the body sliders should still be there. CBBE hands only have the wrist size slider, which is also attached to the body, so you won't have any new sliders in the list from this step. Now unset the hands as reference by right clicking on them and choosing Set Reference. None of the meshes in the list should be colored green. Now we do this one more time. Go to File, Load Reference, and this time select the CBBE feet. Again, make sure Merge Sliders is ticked on and hit OK. The feet have two sliders, one for ankle size, which is also attached to the body so it was already there, but the other one is called Feet Feminine, and it should be located at the very bottom of the slider list, or you can search for it using this filter. If you test all the sliders at this point, they should still work correctly for all of the body parts. Now we have to merge all these meshes together. Before we start on that, go ahead and unset the feet as reference by right-clicking and choosing Set Reference. And now, none of the meshes should be listed in green text. For merging meshes, remember that they must have the same partitions and they must have the same textures. Let's remove the textures first. One at a time, double click on each mesh and select Remove in the middle of the Shape Properties window. Click OK and you'll see the texture disappear. Do this for all three body parts. Next, click on the CBBE body and go to the Partitions tab. Right click on the Calves partition and select Delete Partition. Do the same for the forearms. Then hit Apply in the box at the bottom. Go back to the Meshes tab and select the Hands. Then go to Partitions and in the drop-down box that says Type, click the little down arrow to the right and scroll to select 32 body from the list. Hit Apply. Go back to the Meshes tab, select the Feet, back to the Partitions tab and do the same thing. Select 32 body in the drop-down box and hit Apply. Now we are ready to merge. I always start at the bottom and work my way up just so that I know what order I've merged my shapes in. For this reference shape, it doesn't matter too much because we aren't making a matching shape that needs to be in the same order. But please do remember that if you are making two different whole body references that need to match, you must merge the parts together in exactly the same order. All right, I've got feet last on the list, so I right-click on feet and select Merge Geometry. I'm going to merge them first into the hands, 
and then merge that shape into the CBBE body. But you can do this however you want, as long as you remember what you did. So I select source as the feet, which is the shape that's being merged, and I select hands as the target, which is the shape it's getting merged into, and then hit OK. Next, I right-click on the hands and do the same thing. Merge geometry, hands into the CBBE body, and hit OK. Test out the sliders and make sure they all still work, especially the ones that should affect the body and the hands or feet, such as wrist size, ankle size, or feet feminine. Then go to the Bones tab and make sure all the bones are still on the list and that they appear to be associated with the right parts of the body. After merging, we can fix the partitions, and this is optional since we won't use this body in an outfit ever. But let's walk through how to do it just in case you'd like to have a technically correct reference mesh. First, we will copy the partitions from the original body and then we'll have to paint the hands and feet manually. To get started, rename the whole body mesh so that we don't confuse Outfit Studio. I'm going to call mine CBBE Whole Body Ref. Load in the original CBBE reference body and again make sure the Merge Sliders box is ticked on. It should load in automatically set as the reference, meaning that it's highlighted in green text. So you can just right click on the merged body mesh and select copy partitions slash segments. Note the warning in the box here. This will clear all of the existing partitions and this is why we'll have to do the hands and feet manually. Delete the CBBE body and then bring in the hands. Turn the whole body mesh to wireframe so that we can see through it and turn on the vertices so that we can see what we're painting. Then go to the Partitions tab, right-click, and Add Partition. It will add 32 body, which is fine for now, so just start painting over the hands until they are all red. Be sure to include the vertices at the edge of the wrist. When you are done, change the partition in the Type drop-down box to 33 hands and hit Apply. Here you can see how that's working. Now we do the same thing for the feet. Delete the hands mesh, bring in the reference feet. Right click and add partition. Paint the feet, again including the vertices at the seam, until the feet are all red. Then change the partition in the drop down box to 37 feet and hit apply. Now go back to the meshes tab, hide the feet, turn your whole body reference back to solid view, and turn the vertices off. And now when you click back on the Partitions tab, you can see that we have all the appropriate partitions back on the body again. Back over on the Meshes tab, delete the Feet reference shape, and then once more check that all the sliders are still there and working properly. When that all looks good, we're ready to save so that we can use this later as a tool. I recommend temporarily setting your project path in Outfit Studio to your desktop so that you can easily find the saved files. See my bonus video about managing projects if you'd like to know more about this. The important thing here is just to not forget to change this back as soon as you're done saving. If you don't, you're going to break things in both Outfit Studio and BodySlide. So I've made a folder on my desktop here called Mom's CBBE Tools. To save the project, go to File, Save Project As, and then fill out the pop-up window. Pick a display name that makes sense. I'm going to call mine CBBE Whole Body Ref. The output file name, output data path, and these low, high weight settings do not matter since this is not going to be used in BodySlide. The slider set file is the name of the project itself. A project can contain more than one outfit or tool, so pick something a little bit broader here. I'm going to go with the same name as my mod folder, which is Mom's CBBE Tools. And the same applies to the Shape Data folder. 
The shape data file is the NIF associated with this particular mesh. So this needs to have a specific name. I'm going to call mine CBBE whole body ref. Before hitting save, you may want to take a snip of this or write the names down so that you'll remember. When you are done, just click on save here at the bottom. Then open the folder you saved it to and make sure everything's there. To turn this into a real mod, we need to create the correct folder structure. So first make a new folder called Caliente Tools, and then make another new folder called Body Slide. Move the shape data and slider sets folders into the Body Slide folder. And then move the Body Slide folder into the Caliente Tools folder. Before adding this to your mod manager, be sure you change the project settings in Outfit Studio back to a blank line. Click OK and then close Outfit Studio. To install your new mod, drag the folder into your MO2 Mods folder or into the big box at the bottom of the screen in Vortex. Activate or enable it and then reopen Outfit Studio, load in the project and make sure that it all works correctly. If you accumulate a few outfit tools like this, you may be interested in turning them into actual references. We can do that by making an XML file, and I'll cover how to do that in the next video. This whole body tool that we made can be used for adding sliders to any outfit, even if it covers more than one part of the body. And it can be used for weight painting those same meshes and or transferring the partitions to if you fix those during the optional step. While you can certainly do all of those same things by loading in the body parts separately, having a whole body tool like this can help make your workflow more efficient, especially if you often find yourself dealing with long boots, long gloves, and other similar meshes. I hope this little tip will help to save you some time and to help ensure that your outfits are gonna look great and perform optimally. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.